Welcome to the VRF Wizard. This is a VRF heat recovery system single port branch selector boxes. You can see it's got one port coming off, means it's got one zone. It's In this case it's feeding one fan coil. The first wire here is from the thermostat to the fan coil unit. Each one of these has its own thermostat. You could tie one thermostat into multiple fan coils but in this case they each have their own they're each a separate zone as you can see this one's in cooling this one's in heating so that's what's good with the heat recovery system you can have simultaneous heating and cooling your second wire will be from your indoor fan coil unit to your branch selector box these are all two wire 18 gauge and then your branch selector boxes here will be daisy chained together. You just go from one box to the next and then all the way to your outdoor unit. So the good thing is you don't have to go with a home run, meaning you don't have to put your wire from one box all the way to the outdoor unit and from the next box all the way to the outdoor unit. You can daisy chain them together. So it's just one wire going from box to box. This is based on the Daikin system. And then from the outdoor unit, you go to your control panel. Now, if you have multiple outdoor units, you tie them together because this gives you a larger capacity system. So you get more tonnage. This is a three pipe system. You got three pipes coming in here, tying all three of these together. And here comes your wire coming from your branch selector box, wire number four. Now you're just going to daisy chain the outdoor units together. And then from the outdoor unit, the last one there, you're going to go to your control panel. So now each VRF manufacturer has a limit on the amount of addresses you can connect to a control panel. So this one control panel can only handle 64 addresses, which an address would be like a thermostat, or 128 raw fan coil units. That means like one thermostat, which is one address tied to two fan coils, would work. You can up, have to up to 128 fan coils, which means they each would have, two of them would go to one thermostat each, making 64 thermostats only, addressable. So if you need more than that, then they have the capacity to add these adapter modules. And this allows you to increase the capacity of the control panel. Once again, this is based on the Daikin system. Looking at that closer, we see here's our wire coming from our branch selector boxes, daisy chaining, our outdoor units together and then going to this last adapter we have these wires number eight coming in off of another set of outdoor units and indoor units and we use this adapter to get us 64 more units and then another set of 64 units over here tied together and then this one over here which is handling this set of 64 addressable or thermostats that increases our capacity of this control panel once again this is the Daikin VRF heat recovery system this is their IntelliTouch manager control panel and these are their ITM adapter modules also you can tie in BACnet to this you'll need to bring in an IP address and tie into the panel here that allow you a remote access and to make changes from a remote site, off-site, at home, whatever. But that'll give you the ability to see into this panel. And this panel can see everything that's connected to it. It sees all the fan coils. It sees the mode that the fan coil's in, whether it's in heating or cooling mode. It can adjust the temperatures. It can lock out the thermostat from making adjustments. It does a multitude of things. It, it indicates alarms, if alarms go off. 
And then also you can tie in safety devices like CO monitors, smoke detectors, which would allow for shutdown if one of those emergencies were to occur. And then it also sends out, it has the ability, I think, to send out 10 email alerts if an alarm goes off or some situation occurs. It'll automatically send an alarm to the building engineer, the owner, whoever's on the list, or the contractor, so that he can be mobilizing on the way to get the system fixed. So that's the simple wiring for a VRF control system. This one happens to be Daikin's VRF heat recovery system with single port boxes. Multi port boxes works the same way, you just daisy chain them together. It's very simple, wiring is very simple and in programming. This control panel will automatically sense all the fan coil units that are attached to it and register it. You can put a blueprint in here and have the fan coil show up. Let's say you had a hotel room. You can import the background of the uh, architectural background and then indicate in each room which fan coil is attached to it and you just touch screen it and you just touch that box and you can see the status of that room. So once again, thanks for visiting the VRF Wizard. Visit our website at www.vrfwizard.com. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you at the next video.